Anytime you get a new rig, the best thing you can do is take it to a nearby off-road park and learn to drive it. Learn how to use all of its off-road goodies. With Kara and Robert both getting new rigs, that's exactly what we did. However, not everyone came out unscathed by the end of the day. What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and we are all lined up and aired down at Hot Springs Off-Road Park because if you saw the last video, my wife got a brand new 2021 Wrangler Rubicon Extreme Recon Edition in that gorgeous Tuscadero pink color. Uh, but we got me in the Gladiator, we got Karen, her new Wrangler. We've got, you can see Robert right there beside her talking to Kara. And then we've got John in his Wrangler. But today is a very special day because not only are we testing out Kara's new, new Wrangler, um, but if you saw our high watermark video, you saw what happened to Robert's Forerunner. And we teased a lot in that video about Robert getting a Jeep. So let me, let, let me just let Robert tell you what he's got. Robert? I have a Forerunner. <laughs> he's got a Forerunner. But, but my wife now has a Rubicon. His wife. Even though she said if it was hers, it would be red. <laughs> but yes, that's, that's Carrie's and she's in there staying warm. But but Carrie's uh, not driving. Not today. Not today. <laughs> but yeah. Robert has a Jeep in the family, which is also a 2021 Rubicon Extreme Recon Edition, uh, just like Kara's. So they both, they've had what, what, what a week? A week now? Yep. Both of you? I got a thousand miles a month. A thousand, that's okay, that's a little more than, Kara doesn't even have that much yet. But we're excited to, to get uh, Robert some experience behind the wheel of the Jeep at the off-road park, get Kara some experience in her new Wrangler, and I think it's gonna be an amazing day. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. We are educating a couple new people on how to use the <laughs> how to use the new things the push button sway bar disconnect and all that fun stuff oh and you're going to hear some really bad noises because my drive shaft's about to fall apart Still climb. Yep. Robert's having fun just trying to figure out, you know, where things are in relation to his front bumpers and his sight lines on the the Wrangler compared to his Forerunner. How's your JL doing, babe? Doing good. You liking it's, it? It's, it crawls really like <laughs> really weird. Yeah, those four, five, six gears. I've never had four a lower going to be a, it's different. different. We're off to run, fun run. We're waiting for Ben to get here. Ben's coming, but he's a college kid, so he's late as usual. So we're gonna run fun run while we're waiting on him. Uh, it's one of my favorite trails out here and should be a lot of- Don't go in the wrong way this time. And should be uh, a great challenge for the, the two new vehicles. Yeah, I'm looking 
board and nobody having to hang off the truck. Close is good. Touching is bad. Hi, Robert. I would like to go and do that one climb that you could not make it up. Maybe you did make it up, but you kept trying to bump it. Matt had trouble there. Even they had trouble, and they were having to bounce around crazy, so I don't think you want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that at all. I'm just saying that I would like to see how the Jeep would be able better than, you know, the forerunner that you had. Oh, you want me to do it? I see, I see. Yeah, I'll take the bypass. I just want to see if you're able to, like, go up that better. This may be a fun example between really short wheelbase on a hill climb and really long. Say when you want Gary to come up there. That TJ's having a little bit of trouble getting up this, but probably after that. There you go. Up. All right, back up. Let's do it. Try one more time. Don't let off of it. If you, you feel it slip like that, keep it. There you go. Come on, there we go. There we go. Driver, driver, driver. Just back up straight. Back up. Yeah. Come, come over to this side. Or you can grab on the straw. That right there should be good. I thought you did. <laughs> Cheater. Hey, I made it. You're your same spot as me. What? Well, I know. I didn't use my lockers though. You don't get nothing for it. I get bonus points for not using lockers. No, you don't. Uh huh. I get not it. Not if you're rude. <laughs> <laughs> the front and the rear versus just the rear. Just the rear is great for if you're, you know climbing something and you need to be able to turn because with your lock your, with your front locker on you're not gonna be able to turn hardly at all yeah I could tell at the top I couldn't turn I had to reverse and then try to reconnect it
Well, that was a whole lot of fun, hence the name Fun Run. That was a very fun run. But we're gonna go meet Ben now and probably run, probably run a snake. The goal is for Robert to get his very first badges now that he has a Jeep. There's three badge of honor trails here at the off-road park. But if you don't know what that is, that's an app that Jeep has. Um, and gosh, I don't even know how many trails across the country are in that and you can get little badges that you can display on your vehicle. I've got, I'm up to 21 now, but I'm still waiting for some on back order from Jeep. I haven't put any of them on my Gladiator yet. There's Ben. I feel like we're at Jeep Club now. <laughs> I told Robert in that last video that if he bought a Jeep, he's gonna turn us into a Jeep channel. And I didn't want that. It looks like I just got swatted. Y'all look like a freaking FBI just all just coming around me. Robert, seeing how this compares to when he did it as a 4Runner. See if it hits the shock mount. Yep. Every time. All right, give us a real world comparison. Um, it's easier in a Jeep than it is a 4Runner. <laughs> And, uh, not as comfortable, not as comfortable, not as but, comfortable. but it is fun. <laughs> I'm having a good time. All right, we're gonna go run Snake now. All right, the video is shaky now. It's because my GoPro died. Where's my phone? Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, do you want Caroline to do this? She did it last time, so... Oh, no. Content. Keep going. <laughs> you look like a forerunner. <laughs> what do you think? <sighs> I think Caroline needs to drive. You want to winch it? <laughs> All right, so one more time. Back straight up. Cut back passenger, just a little bit. There you go. There you go. Good job. and speed well that was the most challenging obstacle on snake and it's it's a lot of fun it has uh definitely gotten a little more washed out than the last time we were here that was good i'm a little disappointed that ben didn't have to winch i wanted to see ben winch we've got one bad trail left to go it's rubicon ridge it's uh it's a it's a fun one it's a long one and then after that, we'll have time to, to just play around, I think, before dinner. We haven't had a chance to use winches today, but the day's not over. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this hill is stupid steep. Wow. Right there, coming down on the passenger. All right, straighten out. Your driver's about to drop. Straight, keep the wheel straight. Keep the wheel straight. Dropping down. You're good, you're on the ground. Don't run over my foot. 
Crunch. That was a crunch. Still looks good though. Got a little bend in your license plate. Driver's coming down. Carries a little close to that tree root. You're good, babe. See how Ben does with that tent. Oh, whoa. Oh, he just, just tapped the tree with the tent. Wow, that was close. Well, I'm gonna try an alternate line, see how this goes. Yep. All right, right there. You're on your bumper. Come on, baby. I can't believe that, but that's impressive. Yeah. I said no. Kara said no way. That was a doozy. That was a heck of a climb. Robert, you gonna try it? I mean, he doesn't have lockers, so. okay, let John go before you. Well, we got that covered. We got that covered. All right, it's up that part. Oh yeah, you got this, man. I think so. Go more driver, Ben. All right, you're good. Go more driver. Whoa. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. You got it. Very good. All right, Robert's going to give it a try. tire off the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh. Perfect. Did his job. Oh, big lift. Oh, there we go. Wah! Oh, Cindy's holding on for dear life. After the really steep rocky drop in and then that optional obstacle, Rubicon Ridge is just a whole lot of 
ups and downs and some ruts until you get toward the end and then there's another nice obstacle. This is a fun little off-camera section. Wow. 30 degrees down, 20 degrees off camber, slip sliding. That was fun. This is the last little bit. And then you're off through the Pine Ridge. Job. Oh, he did get a nice dent in the drop rail. Well, that was a whole lot of fun. We've accomplished our goal in a faster time than we planned. So we're gonna go find a couple other little trails to play on. And then we've got a group dinner outing tonight at one of the best pizza places that I've ever been to called the Lucas. It's gonna be our group Valentine thing tonight. All right, we're going up Power Wagon. Robert wanted revenge on this because he had to win some of the runner. Let's see how it compares in the Wrangler. This is stupid slick in here. I mean, stupid slick. Two degrees. We can take a nap here. I mean. All right, we're gonna put the new, our off-road four-wheel drive Panther winch to the test. First, you gotta put it in drive. Drive. Oh, you know what? Oh, low my too. All right, we're drive. Four low. Here we go. Come on. I love having it wireless. It's just super handy. Whoop, whoop, there we go. Come on! Well, we made it. I keep being impressed by the Open Road 4x4 Panther Series winch. I want one. You're gonna get one, babe. 
you're gonna get one. We're gonna get you one. Yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on. Kara's new Wrangler, and I'm I'm just really happy with. It. I mean, the price point is great, under 500 bucks for a 1,300 pound waterproof winch with synthetic line. I mean, you can't beat that. And so far, it has not failed me. And I've had some some pretty decent pulls. So, uh, props to props to Open Road 4x4 for the winch. Link in the description. John, go. He's trying to go high. He's trying to go high. Nope. Right. I don't think that's the line. Whoa. Was that a bumper? Okay, that's good. John, I think your best bet is to just come straight. Don't try to come up on the passenger side. I know what passenger last time when I did it. Yeah, but you don't have that ledge anymore, and so it's not giving, letting you climb up. Right now? He's locked up right now and his back back tire comes through. It sounded just like that play on that day. Driver passenger is spinning, but the driver is not. So either the locker's not working or you're are you broken drive shaft. That I've noticed. Well, I have to figure out what's going on with dumb, uh, John's axle. Here, John. It's either axle, or maybe it's one of his shafts, possibly um, just his locker's messing up. It's hard to tell, but he's definitely definitely not getting any locker in the rear. Well, John now says he's got nothing in the rear. He's just uh, got in a four-wheel drive and pulling from the front. So, he's behind me now. And if something happens and I can just hook up a kinetic rope to him real fast to pull him up a hill or, or whatever. But we're going to get him back to the office and see what we can do to, to take a look. It could be as simple as the drive shaft, which wouldn't be horrible. Hopefully it's nothing inside the differential. All right, made that one. That should be the only potential issue. Hey, yep. this is a pop 13. Let's go. I think, I think Ron's got a <laughs> Oh, yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, you don't want to mess anything up more. Unless you're going for an axle swap. <laughs> <laughs> now he's thinking. <laughs> no, I thought about those chrome molly, you know. Chrome molly. I don't solid. think it's your shafts. I yeah, think it's your shafts. Uh, it's, you it's, your, it's definitely your gears. You have sheared your teeth off something. Because your drive shaft's just spinning. It's your turn. And it's your turn. It's, you know, next time it's going to be my turn. <laughs> That's already got a drive shaft. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe my drive shaft is even held together today. That's how my Jeep stayed in the fucking <laughs> We are going to air up and get him 
taken care of somehow or another. I think he's still gonna go eat pizza with us, but then they're gonna take him to Mud Connections, which did my re-gear, and he can get some new gears out of it. So, you know, anytime you break something, it's always an opportunity to upgrade. Well, we had a fantastic day, a whole lot of fun, even though John broke something in the rear differential, still had a blast. I mean, that's just, that's just part of it. You, you do these trails and you try to push your rig and sometimes the rig pushes back but next time he will be he will be better than he is now so but we're gonna go eat pizza and celebrate uh, valentine's day together and anyway i hope you enjoyed watching this watching kara and her new wrangler watching robert wheel his new wrangler for the first time um it, it was a good day. It was a real good day. Thanks for watching. If you would like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Check out our Patreon if you want to support us in a, in a tangible way. You also gain access to all of our routes and GPS data and that sort of stuff and some special content that we put there. And if you're interested in uh, merchandise and our Ozark Overland Adventures t-shirts and stuff, uh, longcreekoverland.com is where you will find that. But it was a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, you're